Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you the jigsaw transition. For your transition you will need two different clips. So this is my clip 1 and this is my clip 2. The first clip isn't really important so we just have to focus on our second clip. So at now you have to divide your video in at least four different parts. So for first you just have to picture this in your mind. This left part is my part 1. The street is part 2. The right part with the cars and the buildings is part 3. And the sky is part 4. Okay, now you have to right click your second clip, go to change clip speed and check the freeze frame box. Click change. And now I would recommend that you cut your clip to about 16 frames long. Then go with your second clip into fusion and drag and drop a polygon mask into the node field. Then connect the polygon mask with the media in one node. After that go into the inspector and check the invert box. Increase the soft edge to about 0.001 and start masking your first part. Okay, part 1 is masked out and now you only have to check the invert box again. Okay, now go back into the node field and copy and paste this media in one node. Then try to add another polygon mask. And again connect this polygon mask with the copy of the media in one node. Then connect this media in one node with the other media in one node. And go to the polygon 2 mask. Hit the invert box. Increase the soft edge to 0.001. And try to mask out your second part. In my case that's the street. Alright, now try to repeat this procedure for the other two parts. Okay, now I finished masking for my four parts. And I also renamed them. And now go to frame 9. Then add a transform node between the left part and the merge 1 node. Go to the inspector and create a keyframe on the center x and center y values. After that go to settings and check the motion blur box. Then go back to frame 0 and go to controls. Now change the center x value so that you no longer see the left part. Then try to add a transform node between the right part and the merge 2 node. And again go to frame 9, create a keyframe on the center x and center y value, go to settings, check the motion blur box, go back to frame 0, then go to controls and change the center x value so that you no longer see the right part. Then go to the sky and the background part and again add a transform node. Go to frame 9, create a keyframe, go to settings, check the motion blur box, go to frame 0, go to controls and increase the center y value. And now I will do something special for the street part. So first you have to add a polygon node between the other polygon node and the street part. Then go with this polygon node into the inspector tab and change the paint mode from merge to subtract. Also try to increase the soft edge to 0.001. Then I create this mask. And now it's really important that this keyframe is activated. If not then activate this keyframe. After that go to frame 9 and highlight this mask and drag it to the top. Now the animation for the street should look like this. Alright, now go to the last merge node and press shift and space by the same time. Search for glow. Select this glow option and press add. Then go to frame 8, increase the shine threshold to 1, then go to frame 10 and decrease the shine threshold to 0. Okay, now go to frame 15 and increase the shine threshold to 1. Alright, now go to the glow node and press shift and space by the same time. Search for transform. Select this transform option and press add. Now go to frame 9 and create a keyframe on the center x and center y value as well as on the size value. Then go to frame 10, increase the size a little bit and change the center x and center y values a little bit. Then go to frame 11, also change the center x and center y values a little bit. Go to frame 12 and change the center x and center y values a little bit. And do the same for frame 13. Then at frame 14 reset the center x and center y values to 0.5 and reset the size to 1. So the purpose of this transform node is to create a little shakiness. Okay, now open the spline tab and unselect every polygon option. Also unselect this transform option. Then highlight all of these keyframes and press Alt and S at the same time to smooth out your animation. Now go back into the edit page. Again drag and drop your second clip into the timeline and drag these two clips to the left. Alright, now the jigsaw transition is done. I hope this tutorial has helped you. If so, then leave a like or a sub to my channel. Go watch this nice video. Thanks for your support. Stay creative and bye.